Hey everyone, today we have a short guide for Conclave of the Chosen in the Battle of Dazzler Raid. This is a council fight in which you fight two bosses at a time, but should focus on one. Each boss has an active and passive ability that need to be avoided. Passive abilities are mechanics that are active throughout the fights, while active abilities are only performed while the boss is alive. Haku's passive ability is a large bird and the group must stack under it to avoid heavy damage. His active ability is a 45% haste buff cast on every enemy alive. Gong's passive ability is raptors that fixate and charge random players for heavy damage, and his active ability is an unstable hex that can spread between players. Kimball's passive ability is an AoE leap, leaving a heavy bleed, and his active ability is a frontal cone attack with a bleed damage on his current target. Akunda's passive ability is a lightning circle on two players that spawn orbs that need to be avoided, and his active ability is a 30 second silence that needs to be dispelled quickly. Kill order may vary, but the lowest damage comes from killing Paku first, then Kimball, then Gonk, then Akunda. It is important to run hexes out of the group, focus down raptors whenever they spawn, and stack under the bird whenever it spawns. If your group struggles with a hex mechanic, you may want to prioritize Gonk earlier. Hero when dealing with the most dangerous boss, generally Paku or Kimball. This fight becomes increasingly difficult with large raid, large raid sizes, so smaller groups are ideal for this encounter. In Heroic, an additional aspect is active, a toad with a leap attack that does heavy damage and a knockback. That's all for today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below, and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button.